there are two major types of measurements that we can perform with Gokator Smart Sensors. This video will focus on performing surface measurements. Surface measurements are performed on complete 3D scan data, or surfaces. Multiple measurements can be performed on the entire surface or each discrete object. The Gokator firmware comes standard with various surface measurement tools including hole, plane, position, stitch, track, volume, and more. The Surface Transform tool is new in firmware 5.2. Gokator's part matching functionality rotates scan data, but only around the z-axis. The Surface Transform tool, however, lets you apply corrections in all six degrees of freedom. Adjusting scan data, for example, to the position of a hole or the angle of an adjacent surface, letting you consistently inspect parts regardless of their orientation. Let's see how it's used. We'd like to measure the height of multiple components on this PCB. But as you can see in the scan data, the part was slightly tilted on the XY plane. The upper left corner is lower than the lower right corner, so height measurement on the components would be skewed. We can use the Surface Transform tool to compensate for this, reducing the complexity of our system. First, we need to add a surface plane to an appropriate area on the PCB. Next, we add the Surface Transform tool and select the output from the Surface Plane tool as an input. The tool rotates the scan data around the X, Y, and Z axes to output corrected, transformed scan data based on the plane we selected. Note how in the transformed data, the upper left and the lower right corners are in the same plane now. Finally, we'd add measurements, such as surface position, to find the heights of any components required, taking care to select output from our surface transforms tool as the input. The application is much more flexible, and the implementation was greatly simplified. Another useful new tool is Feature Create. The Feature Create tool lets you generate geometric features from other geometric features. This allows for more flexibility in creating complex measurements, reducing the requirement for complicated scripting. In the scan data, we see two holes. We'd like to create a line geometric feature that connects the centers of the two holes. In doing so, we can easily measure the center point, which could be a critical dimension for aligning another mating part. We first need to set up measurement tools that produce point geometric feature outputs. Here, we'd use two surface hole tools to generate a point for the center of each of the holes in the scan data. In the feature create tool, we then set the output to line, the desired combination of two points, and finally, we set the input geometric features to those points. The result is a line connecting the centers of the two holes. You could use the z-angle of the resulting line geometric feature as an anchor point for other tools, or you could get the midpoint of the line from the Feature Create tool's own measurements, and more. Finally, the new Surface Section tool provides a much more flexible and robust way of performing sectioning. Just as with the other tools, you can anchor the Surface Section tool to another tool's measurements so the profiles that the tool extracts are consistently where you want them. Here, we see three subsequent scans of a PCB. The part moves from frame to frame, so we need to compensate for that. We start by setting up a surface edge tool along the right vertical and bottom horizontal edges of the main component. We also need the intersection of those two lines. The feature intersect tool will take care of that. We then add a surface section tool and move the section over the area from which we want to extract a profile. Finally, we set the tool's X and Y anchors to the intersection of those two lines and the Z angle anchor to the angle of one of the lines. Moving from frame to frame, we increase the repeatability of your application. The combination of tools available in the expanded Surface Tools library allows for complete inspection of a target surface without complex coding required. Try these tools out for yourself on our online emulator or upgrade your existing firmware to the latest version. What tools would you like to see added to our firmware? Let us know by sending us an email and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive future updates.